joy rowing, their connection with the environment and an insight into a project, an endeavour, a scientific um, experiment of a sort called GB Row, which is going to involve an exploration of the microplastics in the water around the British Isles. Let's find out more. GB Road Challenge is a 2,000 mile rowing race around Britain, starting and finishing at Tower Bridge. That's 500 boat races back to back. We're not touching land, we're rowing day and night, three hours on, three hours off, for a month. I've done four boat races, I did one of them with you. <laughs> this is pretty tough, right? Yeah. So this is going to be a brutal challenge. I mean, we're going to be fighting the tides, fighting the weather. You know, we've got amazing stuff on board to keep us safe, but it's going to be an epic challenge. It's going to be absolutely brutal, for sure. From my background in the, in the military, you know, I've, I've done a, a lot of tough things. You know, one of the toughest is being in a jungle for six weeks, but I know for a fact that this is going to be far worse than that. My head tends to pop when I think about the enormity of what we're going to do. You know, when you talk to a lot of people, they think we're going to be popping in to different ports and resting and sleeping. This is constant. We'll be going from this seat here to that cabin there for 25 days non-stop, um, day and night. Yeah, I am excited about it. But yeah, looking at the bedroom there, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's going to be quite an experience. The best thing for me about this event is that it's not just about the rowing. We've got some amazing science on board, which I'm really proud of. Hi guys, thanks so much for coming down this morning. It's great that you could be here. Now I gather that you have a little bit of a background in rowing. You've all done some rowing, is that right? I've rowed for six years. We are usually on lake boats um, and fine boats. So. so this year marks the start of a four year partnership with the University of Portsmouth where us as rowers, so we're two in a team of six with four other teammates, we're actually going to be collecting scientific research. So we'll be collecting the largest ever marine research data set of its kind ever taken around British waters, which is really important for all of us. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is collecting environmental DNA. And this is where we filter the seawater um, to capture the tiny traces of DNA that are floating in it that are given off by all of the animals in and around the area. We just push water through the filter like this, capture the traces inside, and then this filter is sent off to the laboratory where we're going to sequence the DNA that lets us read it and identify all of the different species that have been there. So this is the hydrophone. A hydrophone is just a microphone that's underwater. You can't see it because it's been built into the rudder here. This will go onto the back of the boat, but this is going to collect the sound all the way around the UK. And that's so important because we want to listen to not just what animals we can hear, but the pollution. Noise pollution is, is very damaging to species, so we need to know where it's the noisiest in the UK and if that's going to change over the next four years. So for me, this event is really redefining purpose-driven sport. That's why we're working with Active Row and the Gemini Boat Race Bursary Scheme as well to get kids involved so they can learn about what we're doing and also follow on rowing machines and get healthy at the same time. That's it. So look, from the 12th of June, follow us, get connected with us, but also get teams together. We're creating a great virtual platform where you can join us stroke for stroke and you can match us as we go around the UK in our boats within your teams and your schools and your companies if you want to be involved. And you'll learn so much about what we're doing with these boats and the impact they're going to have.